Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Bernie, here, bringing you another video here in the charts, giving you the latest NBA news and rumors and also basketball opinions. And before we get started on to today's topic, talking about Jimmy Butler and some potential rumors about him, go and hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Also, go and check out our awesome NBA content that we have out there. We have videos talking about the recently acquired from the Golden, to the Golden State Warriors, Boogie Cousins. We also have the LeBron James news. And also, go and check out some of my boy Pete's videos, and that's, of course, the Kyrie to the Knicks deal. Could it happen? Go and check that video out. It's a great watch. But right now, we got to talk about this Jimmy Butler situation. That is, of course, Jimmy Butler and Kyrie Irving interested in playing on the same team. And this is coming from the Chicago Suns Times. And this is Kyrie Irving and Jimmy Butler are still trying to figure out a way to play together. And this is according to a source. The two were connected last offseason when they both were on the trade block. Butler was traded to Minnesota Timberwolves. On draft night, Irving was moved to the Boston Celtics in August. Irving has interest in Butler with the Bulls. Now, with this... I don't know if he would be he would be an interesting fit in Boston, but at the same time, I think Boston is fine with where they're at. I think Jimmy Butler and Gordon Hayward, to be honest, are kind of on the same level. I understand that this could be blasphemy, but to me, Gordon Hayward's last season in Utah kind of proved to me that he's a pretty good player. It's not like he's trash. It's not like he's they're about at the same level. And Jimmy Butler right now is his value has kind of fallen a little bit for me because that Minnesota team should have been a hell of a lot better. I think they were you know, the eighth seed, and they really should have been the fourth or the fifth seed. I know it doesn't really matter because between four and eight, it's like a crapshoot this year. But at the same time, I thought Minnesota had the talent to really get there. But obviously, that didn't happen. And for Kyrie Irving, if he were to go to the uh, Timberwolves, I don't think that would also be a good fit. I think, I mean, to be honest, Kyrie is a good fit anywhere. But I just don't see how the Timberwolves do this because there's a lot of people that are going to be owed a lot of money, and they have some pretty decent players on their roster. Jeff Teague is fine for what they need. I just, like I said, they need a new coach. I think the Timberwolves are the team that they have everything there. They just need a new coach, and I think they'd be perfect. Now, another story that's coming out, and this is from the Suns, and that is, of course, all-star Jimmy Butler is fed up with nonchalant Timberwolves teammate Carl Anthony Towns, and this is what the article goes on to say on the Bleacher Report. Jimmy Butler reportedly has no intentions of signing a contract extension with the Minnesota Timberwolves due to issues with his teammates. According to Joe Crowley of the Chicago Suns Times, Butler is all but fed up with the nonchalant attitude of his younger teammates, specifically Carl Anthony Towns. Butler has a one year remaining on his contract before he can decline his player option and become a free agent in 2019. And you can kind of see why he's upset because if we look at the stats that were pulled up and made that video about Carl Anthony Towns in that playoff series against the Houston Rockets. He only got a couple shots up. It's not like he demanded the ball and wanted to take it himself. The pressure was put on, of course, Jimmy Butler and Andrew Wiggins to really kind of create the offense, even though, you know, there was rumors that Andrew Wiggins wanted to be the number one or number two option. But I think Carl Anthony Towns has the offensive ability and you know the mindset to really be that number one or number two option. But it's looking like Jimmy Butler's upset that he even went to Minnesota. And we all like the pickup that Minnesota had, but I still think that if they had a better coach, I think this team would be just fine. Let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think of the situation. Obviously, this is a continuing storyline that we're going to have to figure out what's going on. Is Jimmy Butler going to be playing with Kyrie Irving? Is Jimmy Butler going to be out of Minnesota? And do you think that the Boston Celtics should trade for Jimmy Butler or they should not? In my opinion, I don't think they should. But I'd love to know your guys' opinion. Your guys' opinion matters the most. So put in the comments down below what you guys think. But anyway, guys, this has been your boy Brendan here on The Charge. Give me the latest NBA news and rumors and also basketball opinions. Go and hit that like button. Go and hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And also go and check out our awesome content. And I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.